Hi everyone, Assalamualaikum. Today we are going to discuss question for from textbook page 33. All these question involving limit that we have learned before. Question number 1A. Okay, we have uh, x squared plus x minus 3. Okay, we are going to find limit when x approaches to 0. Okay, so we just substitute x into the function 0 squared plus 0 minus 3 equals to negative 3. Okay, B, find limit for x plus 1 when x approaches to 0. Okay, same thing here. We just substitute, okay, square root 0 plus 1. Square root 1 is 1. Okay, question number 1C, we have to find limit for x plus 4 over x minus 2 when x approaches to 0. So, 0 plus 4 over 0 minus 2 equals to negative 2. Okay, the last one for question number 1, D, find limit. For a, a, x plus a when x approaches to 0. So, we have here a over a times 0 plus a. a over a is 1. Okay, next one, question number 2. Question a. Uh, find limit for 3x minus 1 when x approaches to 0. So, 3 times 0 minus 1 equals to negative 1. Okay, B, find limit for 10 minus 2x when x approaches to negative 3. Okay, so we get 10 minus 2 times negative 3. Okay, square root. So, here we have uh, square root 16, okay. Square root 16 equals to 4. Okay, question C. Find limit for x squared plus x minus 6 over x plus 3. Okay, when x approaches to negative 3. Okay, for this question, if you substitute x equals to negative 3 we get here we get okay um negative 3 squared minus 3 minus 6 over uh, negative 3 plus 3 okay so here we get 0 over 0 okay so 0 over 0 so you cannot use this method eh? so you must be factorized you have to set factorize this question so here we have x plus 3 x minus 2 over x plus 3 okay so then we can simplify uh, we then finally we can substitute x equals to negative 3 into the function so we get negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5 Okay, so question next question, question 2D, uh, find limit for x minus 6 over x squared minus 36, actually 6 squared, okay. So when x approaches to 6, uh, this one you cannot uh, substitute directly, so you have to factorize first. We have x minus 6 over x minus 6 x plus 6 okay so then we get 1 over x plus 6 then you can uh, substitute okay 1 over 6 plus 6 equals to 1 over 12 next question e uh, find limit for x squared minus 3x plus 2 over x squared minus 4 okay when x approaches to 2 okay so um, 
Here we can factorize first. We get x minus 2, x minus 1 over x minus 2, x plus 2. Okay, so we can simplify. Then we substitute uh, into the equation, the function, okay? So we have 2 minus 1 over 2 plus 2 equals to 1 over 4. Okay, F, uh, find limit for 1 minus square root 2x plus 1 over 2x squared minus x when x approaches to 0. Okay, so this one, um, if we substitute, Okay, x equals to 0 into the equation. We get 1 minus 2 times 0 plus 1 square root over 2 0 squared minus 0. Okay, so we get 0 over 0. So cannot, okay? So you must uh, solve with other method. Okay, so we know that this one involving third. So we can uh, multiply with the conjugate, okay? So here we get 1 minus 2x plus 1 over, we can factorize x to x minus 1. Okay, so we multiply with the conjugate, okay? So times 1 plus square root 2x plus 1 over 1 plus square root 2x plus 1. Okay, so then we expand, we get 1 squared minus square root 2x plus 1 squared. So we can simplify, sorry, over uh, x to x minus 1, okay, times 1 plus square root 2x plus 1. Okay, here we get 1 minus 2x in the bracket. Okay, so plus 1 over x, 2x minus 1, 1 plus square root, 2x plus 1. Okay, we open the bracket, we get 1 minus 2x minus 1. Over x, 2x minus 1, 1 plus square root 2x plus 1. So then we get negative 2x over x. 2x minus 1, 1 plus square root 2x plus 1. Okay, so x we can simplify. So finally, we can substitute uh, x uh, equals to 0 into the equation. Eh? So we get negative 2 over 2 times 0 minus 1. 1 plus square root 2 times 0 plus 1. Okay, here we have negative 2 over negative 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Okay, so the answer is 1. Okay, so the next one, question 2G, um, same thing. So, limit x minus 4 over square root x minus 2 when x approaches to 4. Okay, here we can convert. Okay, x minus 4 become uh, square root x squared minus 2 squared over square root x minus Okay, so then we can uh, factorize this one become square root x minus 2 square root x plus 2 over square root x minus 2. Okay, so this we can simplify. So finally, we substitute x equals to 4 into the function. So square root 4 plus 2, square root 4 is 2, 2 plus 2 is Okay, so H, um, find limit for 3 minus square root 2x plus 3 
over x minus 3 when x approaches to 3. Okay, so we multiply with the conjugate. So 3 plus 2x plus 3 over 3 plus 2x plus 3. Okay. So we simplify, expand and simplify, become 3 squared minus square root 2x plus 3 squared. Okay, over x minus 3, 3 plus square root 2x plus 3. Okay, so here we get 9 minus 2x, this one in the bracket, eh? okay, so minus 3, okay, over x minus 3, 3 plus square root 2x plus 3, okay, 9 minus 3 is 6, minus 2x over x minus 3, 3 plus 2x plus 3. Okay. So this one we can factorize. Okay. Factorize become negative 2. Or maybe I can uh, rearrange first. 2x plus 6. Okay. Over x minus 3. 3 plus square root 2x plus 3. Okay, so ni become negative 2 x minus 3. Okay, over x minus 3, 3 plus square root 2 x plus 3. Okay, so we can simplify. Then finally, we can substitute x equals to 3 into the equation. Eh? So negative 2 over 3 plus 2 times 3 plus 3. Okay. So 2 times 3 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. Square root 9 is 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. So negative 2 over 6 equals to negative 1 over 3. Okay. So then I. For question I. We have limit x plus 2. Over 5x plus 14 minus 2. Okay. 5x plus 14 minus 2. When x approaches to negative 2. Okay. So when x approaches to negative 2. Okay. So now we try to multiply with the conjugate. Okay. So become times 5x plus 14 square root plus 2 square root 5x plus 14 plus 2 okay so then we expand we get here x plus 2 square root 5x plus 14 plus 2 okay now we add page, add page, okay. So over this one, mm, get 5x plus 14 square root, okay, squared minus 2 squared, okay. So, x plus 2 square root 5x plus 14 plus 2 over 5x plus 14 minus 4. Okay. So, we get x plus 2 square root 5x plus 14 plus 2. Okay, 14 minus 4 is 10. Okay, so 5x plus 10, we can factorize. Okay, 
So x plus 2, 5x plus 14 plus 2. Factorize, okay, 5, so x plus 2. So finally, we can simplify. And then substitute x equals to negative 2 into the function. Okay, so here 5 times negative 2 plus 14 plus 2 over 5. Okay, so 5 times negative 2, negative 10 plus 14, 4. 4 square root is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4. So the answer is 4 over 5. Now let's do question number 3A. We have to find limit for x squared minus 2x over x cubed minus 4x when x approaches to 0. Okay, you simplify first, you factorize, we get x, x minus 2. Okay, the denominator x, x squared minus 4. Okay, this one x, x minus 2, x, x squared minus 2 squared. So, we can factorize become x, x minus 2 over x, x minus 2, x plus 2. Okay, we cancel off, we get 1 over x plus 2. Okay, then when x is 0, we get 1 over 0 plus 2 is 1 over 2. Okay, B, find limit for x squared minus 4x plus 3 over 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 when x approaches to 3. Okay, so we simplify, you factorize, we get x minus 3, x minus 1. Okay, the denominator, we get uh, 2x, x plus 1 minus 3. Okay, so we cancel off, then we substitute 3, so 3 minus 1 over 2 times 3 plus 1. Okay, here we get 2 over 7. Okay, C, find limit x cube minus 5x squared plus 6x over x squared minus 3x. When x approaches to 3. Okay, so we try to uh, factorize first. So we have x, x squared minus 5x plus 6. Here we have x, x minus 3. So here we have x minus 3, x minus 2. Okay, so x, x minus 3. Okay, we cancel off. We get x uh, is 3. Okay, 3 minus 2 equals to 1. Okay, so done D. Here we have to find limit 5x over 3 minus square root x plus 9. So, this question involving a uh, third. So, we try to uh, multiply with the conjugate. Okay. So, times 3 plus square root x plus 9 over 3 plus square root x plus 9. Okay. Um, then... We expand, we get 5x, 3 plus square root x plus 9 over 3 squared minus x plus 9. Okay, so here we have 5x, 3 plus square root x plus 9 over 9 minus x minus 
9. 9 minus 9 is 0. So here we have 5x, 3 plus square root, x plus 9 over negative x. Okay, we cancel off, then we get negative 5. Mm, 3 plus square root x plus 9. Okay, then we substitute uh, x approaches to 0. Okay, so negative 5, 3 plus 0 plus 9. Okay, 0 plus 9 is 9. 9 square root is 3. 3 plus 3, uh, 6. 6 times negative 5 is negative 30. Okay, so we add here okay so uh, e question e find limit x minus 4 over 2 minus square root 8 minus x when x approaches to 4 okay multiply with the conjugate so times 2 plus square root 8 minus x over 2 plus square root 8 minus x. Okay. So we simplify. We get um, x minus 4. 2 plus square root 8 minus x. Over 2 squared minus 8 minus x. Okay. So here we have x minus 4, 2 plus square root 8 minus x over 4 minus 8 plus x. Okay, so here we have x minus 4, 2 plus square root 8 minus x. The bottom one we get at 4 minus 8 is negative 4, so x minus 4. Okay, so we can simplify. Uh, we get 2 plus uh, substitute x equals to 4, 8 minus 4. Okay, 8 minus 4, 4, 4 square root is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4. Okay, so next one, the last one for question number 3, we have to find limit. Uh, just now, what x plus 2, square root x plus 2, minus 3 over x minus 7 when x approaches to 7. Okay, same thing lah. If you substitute, you get 0 over 0. Cannot. You have to uh, try other method. So, this one, we uh, multiply with the conjugate. So, times x plus 2 plus 3. Okay, over square root x plus 2 plus 3 okay so then here we have um, x plus 2 minus 3 squared okay divided by x minus 7 square root x plus 2 plus 3 okay x plus 2 minus 3 squared is 9 so 2 minus 9 is negative 7. Okay, so x minus 7. x minus 7. Square root x plus 2 plus 3. Okay, so we can simplify here. Okay, um, we get 1 over uh, substitute x equals to 7. Okay, 7 plus 2 plus 3. Okay. So, uh, 7 plus 2 is 9, square root 9 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6. So, the final answer is 1 over 6. Okay. Okay, so now the last one, question number 4. Okay, the diagram on the right shows a part of the function. Graph Y equals to Fx. Okay, based on the graph, find F0. Okay, F0 meaning that the object is 0. Okay, object is 0 here. We have 4. Okay, so the answer A, 1, just like that. Eh? Okay, F0 equals to 4. Okay, A2. Okay, determine where the limit 
fx when x approaches to 0 exists or not okay so when x approach to uh, limit x approaches to 0 okay previously in the first lesson uh, last week we have discussed this thing okay when we find to limit you have to consider when the value of x approaches from the right or from the left okay both side okay in this situation when x approaches to zero we can see here we get gap here so uh, the limit does not exist okay so does not exist okay does not exist because this one we can see here is we we have gap between these two function it uh, if approaches from right okay available but if approaches to left is cannot okay because we have gap okay so b uh, find the limit okay limit fx when x approaches to negative one okay so negative one okay from negative one okay straight away from the right also can from left also can okay so the answer is two okay and b1 okay b2 uh limit fx x approaches to 5 oh uh, x approach sorry x approaches to 5 and eh? here 5 okay from the right and from the left so the limit for fx when x approaches to 5 equals to 3 okay so that's all um, exercise page 33.